Hi, it's Hazel, and welcome to my channel, Hazel Anaka Design. I am um, going to do a little bit of work on my purple journal. Oh, journal journals. Uh, if you caught the live, uh, I was a guest on an Angela's tra the Traveling Crafters live craft and chat. Uh, that was in. January. Oh my goodness, that was so long ago. And at that time, I was working during that live uh, uh, craft and chat. I was working on this purple journal, and this was made out of a um, Duncan Hines Dolly Parton cake mix. And it was, this whole event was in celebration of Carol from the Crinkled Path and her, uh, both her birthday and her retirement uh, from a 30-year career as a physiotherapist. Anyway, I um, was working away and basically it just got, I mean, I got quite a bit done that day. But it basically just got put aside because other things have, you know, bubbled up to the top of the list, including the blush journals. But frankly, I need a change of pace. I need a change of color. And I need to um, make some progress on this as well. So I'm not going to really be talking about or doing anything in this one. But... Excuse me. Still struggling with this cough. This was another book cover that I had sort of prepped. Now, I have no recollection of what the book was. Obviously, the black cover is uh, a great, pristine, blank slate ready for embellishing. And I guess what I was uh, doing here, whatever the spine was, must have been inadequate or damaged or something. So I'm using one of those green hanging file folders uh, and created this new spine. Now, when I was, again, sorting and reorganizing these supplies today, I had four signatures um, sort of pre-fold, pre-selected, pre-folded. And it seemed to me that that wasn't enough. And I'll show you why. I've since added a fifth one. And I mean, forget that it has fallen down because it's not sewn in. But this is more like what this spine can actually accommodate. And, you know, there will still be room to grow a bit. So I can walk you through. Um, but should I? I'll show you a couple of things. Um, long ago, I got some um, calendars. And... It was a, obviously a floral calendar, and it had these beautiful pockets. Um, now, I've had to trim this. Let's put that away so this will lie flat. I'll just show you. It's within reach. Sorry. Now, these things are nearly 12 inches wide, so clearly that is too wide for the average journal but look how beautiful they are they have this fancy background paper they have a beautiful floral and they are you know cardstock type uh, weight and it's a pocket so i have you know lots of them so i ended up um, going with five signatures here which is i think I always find it a bit easier to go with an odd number. 
So I decided that rather than bulk up the book too much, I'll just put one of these pockets in the first, the third, and the fifth signatures. That way I get to use three of them. So I picked the ones that kind of had a mauve um, feel to them. I cut them down an inch at each end. Um, now I haven't, you know, glued them shut, but I guess I will at some point. I did round the corners. So that is one thing I want to show. Oh, and another thing I should show you. I think every... Uh, yeah, I think every signature has a piece of wallpaper. I also added uh, Angela, the traveling crafter, had given me some of her, I believe this is Kool-Aid dyed paper, and it's that, you know, the old-fashioned paper that used to get, it was one continuous piece. Anyway, I think that's what she uh, has dyed with Kool-Aid. So... I um, had enough of this scrapbooking paper that I can alternate the covers. Now this, I hope I don't live to regret this decision. In this center signature, I have sewn two pages together. Now this is actually Cricut a vinyl. Now I don't have a Cricut machine, don't know anything about them, have no desire to, to learn. I should, you know what, I should use my bone folder, that might help. Anyway, this is fairly thick, and you can see it's pretty springy, too. So I'm just hoping that this wasn't a huge... I'm really going to put some muscle into this. I hope it wasn't a huge mistake to use this. I have another one in a different pattern but I am not going to put it in here because, well, that helped a bit, uh, because I don't want to add that much more bulk. Now, I suppose while I'm at it, I could uh, do my notches. Uh, I'm just eyeballing this. Oh, 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 oh. Well, maybe if I try again. So, okay, that answers my question. So that, if that backing came off, it is stick. Whoops, I guess I need to see what I'm doing. If that backing came off, it is sticky. Because, of course, I do have some scrap pieces that I was wondering how I was going to use. This is not ideal, having to try to do this with scissors, if you've ever had to fix a botched uh, punch. Oh, and you see, well, maybe you can't see, but it's sort of made some creases here. I guess shoving it in there probably was the thing that did that. Well, let's try it again. And maybe if I try to get cut right through the first time, I won't have. So I'm just, again, trying to eyeball. Nope. In fact, this one was worse. Anyway, I, you know, you know, I guess you never know until you try. So, I at this point, I'm I'm going to still use this. Sorry, I didn't mean to sidetrack us in this way. Okay, I don't know how. <clears throat> How I sound to you, but to me, I sound kind of croaky. Um, I kind of wish that I could see down my throat because I, I think it, I think it's going to be look red and inflamed. Um, yeah, and and I really thought I was better. 
Uh, oh, and then the third one has this. So basically that's all I wanted to say about this. I think because I have shown you sewing in signature several times, I won't bother doing it with this one. I will just, uh, you know, do it when the time is right. Now, of course, I need to cover this up with something. And I do have other pieces of 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper that could, uh, you know, be used. I, I'm sure I can find some fabric. Um, I have some lace, but that won't. Well, too much of it would be covered up. Anyways, I will ponder that as the as the day goes days go on. But what I wanted to do is show you again. I've got millions of things here. I just wanted to kind of look through with you um, some of the things that I have encountered. And trust me, <gasps> jeez. I just about had a disaster here. Uh, sorry for sorry for scaring you. Oh, see. Well, okay, paper I'll just put aside. But beautiful cards. So I have beside me um, a variety of things. I have some six by sixes that could be used. I have other oddball pieces of paper. Um, I have some fussy cuts that I did. Now this was quite uh, over the top paper. You can see it's got glitter and it had all these fashion items. Um, so obviously I want to use that up at some point. So this this piece will probably end up being a page edging. Don't know which side I'll use. Um, you know, little... You know what it's like. But if you saw my video... Oh, yeah. It did appear. Uh, what I was doing with scraps. I, I think I'm a reformed woman. I... Uh, will not be saving as many things as I did before. This is beautiful. Anyway, I didn't so far. I haven't planned on sewing in any envelopes. I guess that wouldn't be the end of the world because I could always do it as a tip-in. Although this one, Holy cow, this one is five and three quarters. So that would be too big. It would have to go like so. So we'll see. They're both the same size. Okay, so something to ponder. Maybe I will tuck those two envelopes into that cover just to force me to make a decision. But I just wanted to go through some of this stuff with you. As, and figure out what, how some of this might end up being used. Some of it is probably complete and I should separate it. Others need work. Now, I hope that I, in my prototype binder, I hope I have some, some instructions on um, how to make this because it looks pretty ingenious. Pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Now this was some paper that I had added paint to be, or was that gel printed? I don't know. Anyway, did some, some decorating on top of that. This, I don't know. It's not the most beautiful thing I've ever created for sure. But that doesn't mean it can't be used. So um, maybe it just needs something. I don't know. Maybe some dry brush, dry brushing, some just one. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna start a pile for things that need some work. Now, obviously these tea 
pouch, tea bag pouches need work. They make uh, their foil lined. Oh, this one's kind of torn down. Oh, why is it letting go? Well, maybe this becomes a side tuck. Um, I thought these were foil lined, but apparently not. The foil's on the outside. So these need work. This is, I don't even remember drinking this tea, to be honest. This one is kind of shiny inside. So uh, obviously it needs some work as well. And I think because it has, you know, some whatever color images on the back side, I think I would uh, leave it as a clipped in thing. So dec that means decorating front and back. I would say, oh, I think this is from maybe from ra Fussy Cut Wrapping Paper. Add a little tab so this is ready to go. So we'll make a little pile there. I would say this is good. Now this is obviously one of those master boards where you cover the surface with all sorts of scraps and strips and whatnot. Part of a doily digital. Um, and then of course, <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, you um, cut it up and decorate it. Oh, before I forget, I would encourage you, I would ask you, please, see, I said please, pretty please, to go to the community tab on my channel and vote for one of the four, no, five, shortlisted um, names for my moose mascot. Um, yikes. Uh, he he's made an appearance here many times. Uh, for the longest time, I was, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. Didn't know how hard it was to do a poll or whatever. This is going on the done pile. So, and I also didn't realize that they were only going to allow me five options. Uh, you guys were so creative in suggesting uh, names that I think I had something like 17 suggestions. So I just picked the ones I like the best. Now this, I wonder why I used good paper on the back. It's not a, whoops, <laughs> it's not a pocket, but I get, I mean, it, it's a, a corner pocket, but it's just too bad I, whatever. So that's done. Now this was wrapping paper that I just used to cover book pages and sewed around. Now I would cover this text up and actually you can, I don't know if you can see, but I can see some of the text underneath it. So um, I need, okay, so this needs work. That's going there. This is, oh, I made this envelope out of a six by six and with some nap <clears throat> some napkin on it and you know how much I love using napkins so I think this needs something more it's not complete I'll add it there um, more napkin this is in my this one particular one is in my French bundle and I don't know about these strings I'll probably end up cutting them off Um, this is an index card, as you can see. So it's like a little booklet. Now the back is fairly naked, so maybe, why don't I trim this thread right now? It seems a bit, it's so black. Uh, I would say probably the back needs a bit of attention here. So, uh, this I think is fine. So we'll add it to the done pile. Yeah, that's cute. Another napkin. Love lilacs. Just wish they had better uh, vase life. This I think is pretty damn cute by itself. So I don't 
mind you here, you can see that I covered, I guess, some packaging or something. Paper Magic Group. Um, I wouldn't probably put anything there anyway, so. Or maybe, uh, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put it on this pile because I need to put something in. Now, because this is fairly thick, this was probably this would probably just be clipped to the edge of the page. So, now this was one of those photo box dividers. Uh, doesn't, I wonder why it doesn't quite cover. I thought this was a digital, but... Almost looks like a doily or something. Anyway, so this needs work. Now, I guess depending how quickly I get through this pile, we may be able to do some things soon. This is just a piece of kind of creased wrapping paper that needs to be backed. This is uh, really beautiful. Um, and I printed them on cardstock, so they don't need anything. I'm going to call them done. This is another one of those master board type things that I must have decorated in the past. This, um, these, this color part here would have come out of, um, oh, what's her name? Helen Steiner Rice. Um, those aren't the greatest illustrations in the world, but they are a splash of color. So, and I think I'll leave the back as it is. Can write over that. Um, let's call that done. This one. This is sure big. Four by eight. Boy. Must have really been. Oh, maybe I intended this to be the front. <laughs> okay, I've been a hard worker all my life, but most all my work has been the kind that perishes with the using, as the Bible says. That's the discouraging thing about a woman's work. Excuse me. If a woman was to see all the dishes that she had to wash, wash before she died, piled up before her in one pile, she'd lie down and die right then and there. I've always had the name of being a good housekeeper, but when I'm dead and gone, there ain't anybody going to think, oh, the floors I've swept and the tables I've scrubbed and the old clothes I've patched and the stockings I've darned. But when one of my grandchildren or great-grandchildren sees one of these quilts, they'll think about Aunt Jane. And wherever I am then, I know I ain't forgotten. Um, I guess there's some value in that. So maybe this just becomes a decorative piece or a person could write over it. It does feel like it needs something, maybe ribbon or something across the top. Maybe it needs part of this. Hmm. This was a gel plate that I didn't know, and I love it so much. I don't know if you can see that it has, uh, and I did it on, scra on scrapbooking paper I didn't like. Um, it has iridescent type metallic paper on it, so... That's more a supply. Now, these are more of those Cricut vinyl scraps. So, I would like to know, and why don't we try an experiment? Uh, maybe I can pick something small. I have on the floor beside me, I have one of those accordion type sorting things you know that people sometimes use for their receipts or whatever to take to the account for tax time or whatever household um i want to know what would happen
if I peel the back off, would this still feel, let's make it a little bit bigger, would it still feel really kind of, I don't know, vinyl-y? <laughs> um, and so um, inflexible. So let's see. Just peel up a corner. Actually, since this has the grid marks at the back, maybe what I would do A hole in there thinking I could just separate. Oh. oh, there we go. Um, what I could do, what I should do is <sighs> wonder why I started this. What I could do is, um, oh, <laughs> goofy. Once I peel the backing off, there goes the grid marks. So they're not going to help me. What am I thinking? It does have that, you know, that smell. I don't know if, if you guys are as sensitive to these noxious smells as I am, but let's see, I didn't get it totally good there, but I can trim it. And let's hope this sticks better than that shelf liner that I uh, thought I was so smart when I used. I put, I put shelf liner, because I had, you know, quite a few different ones. I glued it on to, not glued it on, stuck it on to um, pieces of a mat board. And then some, sometimes I use them as my little backdrop here if I'm doing a haul video or, or something where I don't need my, my working surface. That's not the greatest cutting ever. Um, and then I should use a knife and a ruler. A really long ruler <laughs> uh, to square this off. Now, there is a bit of damage to that paper there. That must have been an end paper from a really tiny book. So maybe I'll take it off over here. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. The only thing is that I wonder how well Maybe we'll just kind of keep this floating here. And we'll see how well, if I come up, ah, oh my God. I just, there's gonna be blood here in a minute. Uh, I just need to find a band-aid. Uh, not to alarm you. <laughs> I was, shoving that um, ruler back in the drawer and it obviously hit something oh I can show you this I when I cleaned out my desk drawer and I intended to to show you that one day I put all the um, <laughs> uh, health and beauty kind of stuff in here so I have you know these barrier creams um, <laughs> this is actually for diaper rash I think <laughs> Um, anyway, I better find the band-aid before I start bleeding. Mints, Fisherman's Friend, Dental Floss. Oh, there's a kind of puny little band-aid. Gum. 
Anyway, rather than having a lot of this stuff floating around, oh, lens cloths. Do you think I have enough hand lotion in here? I um, gathered it all up. Oh, sorry, I didn't really show you this. To this little tote. Might have been a craft tote. But it seemed to be the right size to um, corral all that stuff. Look what I did here. I just don't want to get blood on anything. Oh, that's going to be kind of an awkward place. I love these band-aids. I think these are the ones that I used to buy at Dollar Tree. And I like them because, number one, it's not a, it's not a variety pack. You get a size that actually does something. And, um, whoops, and this, whatever this stuff is, it's so good. It hangs on so well. Watch it make a liar out of me. It hangs on so well that you, oh, see, it doesn't really, it kind of wants to chew that up a bit. Um, well, let me do the others. It, um, the band-aids hold on so well Boy, I'm really striking out here. Maybe my little uh, corner chomper, but it's at the other table, would have done a better job on this. Anyway, I'll, I'll fix that later. So that's that pile. Um, okay, so oh, scrap, a couple scraps of fabric. Oh, look at these cool dresses. I think I've shown them before. Um, this was a freebie from Kim Newberg. And I thought, oh, these purple. I've cut, I, you know, separated them from the other colors that I don't need for this project. But, so I'll fussy cut those. Mind you, it's just copy paper. I should back them and then fussy cut them. I had something else to back here, didn't I? Where did that pansy paper go? Maybe if we can't muster the uh, whatever creativity to do anything else, maybe we can at least back a few things before I let you go. Okay, so this is just some miscellaneous paper. Love those irises, love those butterflies. And look at that. Okay, so what I would do here, well, that's ragged, so let's cut it. Let's pull out that same deadly ruler. I wonder where the heck my 12 inch one is. Um, so I'm just going to neaten up that edge without cutting. Mind you, I don't care about that. May your birthday be just the beginning. Yeah, that's going to be covered up, so I could take a bit more off. How wide is this anyway? It's over four inches with the little, so I could. Let me line it up at the top there. And I'll take probably a quarter of an inch off because it's not going, I'm not very straight there, am I? You know what? I should. I probably shouldn't have tried to do a video. Uh, things aren't going particularly well. Um, but you know what? This is real life. And anyone who's crafted more than a, a few hours knows that that's sometimes how it goes. So I'm adding this. Oh, I was going to first do this. I'm adding um, this to the pile that needs work. So something will have to cover that birthday greeting. This is just lightweight pattern paper. So we'll see what can be done with it. So there's more. This might have come out. Oh, yeah, this came out of a, um, what do you call it? Uh, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Those books that every, those magazines that everybody loves that has the photography and the illustrations and the inspirational message, not guideposts. Um, holy cow. I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean. So, these kinds of papers I'll just put aside here with that mauve and the 6x6. Six six. Um, narrower pieces. If, if I play my cards right, maybe no one would know that those are actually eggs. That. That's probably just white, isn't it? This is something that I had stamped. So I would like to use these. I'll add that over there. This I love, I love, I love. It's gonna be interesting to see what I put on there, to be honest. Then I have So this is a tag off something that I guess we bought. Oh, you know what? This might have been our purple, uh, what do you call it? Mattress. Mind you, it would say queen. Not, it, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's mole. It's, it's legit. Um, I have these things, these edges. I had them in blue, beige, and mauve, so obviously I want to use these things up as well. This probably should be someplace else. This I could use somewhere. Now, these are images that I took out of a floral book. Oh, and they have the nice background color as well. So uh, it was a really beautiful book, to be honest. A lot of good stuff came out of there. And, of course, this, um, you know, okay. So these will get used somewhere. That's, you know, more like a focal point. Oh, <laughs> if you saw the thrift haul I did, I bought in one, one store, these are book pages, not quite purple. I should probably save those for a burgundy. Um, Anyway, in that one store, I managed to buy two different packages, boxes, off wall um, decor. Now, this is kind of cardstock weight. There were a lot of kind of funky images there. Of course, I'm sure it's intended for um, teenage girls. <laughs> not senior women making journals. But I think this might have come from someplace else, but these are going to be great little things to tuck into pockets. And I'm not, because they're nice, I'm not going to, let's just quickly do the corners. I'm not going to cover them up with anything. Sometimes things can just be because they are beautiful. Oh, I certainly hope it warms up here. It was minus 26. Today is March 6th. It's actually my birthday. I probably should have taken the day off. But I am still trying to get a number of videos scheduled. Like I'd like to have the rest of March looked after. Um, anyway, um, what was it, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, minus 26 when I woke up this morning. Now, the, today is Wednesday. They claim that by Saturday it's going to be plus 9. 
So we shall see. Uh, again, this really isn't purple, but I think that um, the oh, look at. hate when that happens. I might have to do one and use my other fancy corner edgers to fix that. Or I might have to wing it freehand. That could be scary. Yeah, that's going to be scary. Anyway, I really hope it warms up because... I, my feet are cold right now. Um, so some of these things, you know, can just get tucked into pockets. I love this moon. So I'm just throwing those on the done pile. Now, I, to be honest, I don't remember, or maybe I never knew what this stuff spells. But I could, uh, if I wanted to, you know, get rid of the black, the blue, and just use the sort of lilac-y color. So I'll see what happens with these. There are quite a few pieces here. Um, okay, passion over per. Okay. Be happy with what you have while working for what you want. Okay, I better not do that when that looks like a frame. And again, you know, if I choose at some point to add a, a little smidge of uh, smidge, that's an official measurement, just so you know, um, add a smidge of lace or something um, to these things, then again, um, I, I think I'm discovering that my style seems to be maybe less is more like maybe play up color and design as a uh, you know like placement design as opposed to um, you know too frilly dilly I won't do this one because this would probably be a good pocket Oh, but it's five and a half. Well, I won't trim it till I know I need to. This is a little bit cutesy. Well, we'll see. Um, that's okay. This is a little under five inches, so that more likely will be a pocket. And this is kind of pinky, so. Maybe this one doesn't make the cut. Okay, how long have we been at this? Including the break for first aid. Oh, maybe I'll just quickly get through this, speed up a bit. Um, this was obviously a book page that I turned into. I folded on itself to become, I don't know, a side tuck, a belly band or whatever. But it, obviously we need that woman's name gone. Um... This may be just, mind you, that's bias tape. I'll put some glue in there. I don't think I really want to sew around it. I'll just wait a few seconds and then I will round those two bottom corners. Another tag that is done, same. Um, uh, what should we call it? Masterport. Same. This is kind of cute. What was I doing here? Oh, just scraps of paper. This is somebody's digital, I think. So it needs... Oh, why am I... See, I got my piles mixed up. These last few items that I said were done shouldn't be there. 
Those things need work. This is more old wrapping paper, two different styles. I covered up some of the words there, but this clearly needs something. Boy, that base is wide. Whew, almost four and three quarters. So same, this. I'm really glad to see that back in the day I was using some book pages. Um, this is another envelope that I made more um, which we call a napkin, and you can see how different the same thing looks depending on the color of the paper you use. Um, these are fine. Maybe I would add a grommet or a, a dangle or something, so I'll put that there. Digital, 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 digital. Um, hey, where is that? Don't imagine this will work. Hmm. It might not be that bad. Because those colors pick up those colors. I'll just clip this together and see if anything better surfaces. Um, hmm. These can probably be used as is. Oh, this was the guy I was going to round. But I think it needs something at the top. I love, love, love this. It is a vellum pocket that I stamped on. And I think that that might be it for this, but of course, whatever goes into it. Uh, oh, let's see, it could even be something like that. This is beautiful. Let's do the old corner thing. Anyway, I hope that you have found, I don't know, <laughs> you kept me company. Maybe you didn't learn anything other than how I think. Um, that one done. Oh, we're calling this one done too. This is one of the whale tails that Carrie the Paper Monkey sent me. So I think I can use that somewhere. Oh, that needs something too. Oh, and do you see that I used some bias tape and some rickrack on there, as well as scraps of somebody's. I think that's Rachel's. Proxy Creations Digital. One of the first kits I bought. Well, I like, I tend to like the background pages more because I don't just believe in printing a kit, folding it up, and calling it a journal. So I tend to prefer the background pages. Yoy! Yo yo yo! That's sort of an expression of frustration among little old Ukrainian women. Maybe not only Ukrainian women. I think I've heard others say yo yo yo. Yo yo yo! And here's another one of those little things with the pocket, the pocket, and the pocket. I have a lot of these puffy stickers and I'm hoping to use the rest of them up because, okay, a few more pieces and we're done. Oh, clearly I've put aside some purple buttons. 
Oh, you know what these are? Um, I was going to say there, I, I guess there may be, oh no, I feel the, the, these are business cards that I stamped and aren't they beautiful? So a page of business cards just stamped repeatedly. I guess I had um, some color on there to begin with and then stamped those that favorite flower of mine over. So these guys obviously need to be decorated. So they'll go in this pile. This is a bit of um, something that I stamped. I carved that stamp. These are cute. I've never seen purple ones before. But I will use those. Another scrap of that. So these are, oh, I know. I printed this on... Yeah, that's sticky. <laughs> Would you believe on CD label paper? Yikes. That was an experiment that maybe no one should bother repeating. And then what is this? Just a label off something. And this little envelope can obviously be used as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop there. This went longer than I thought it would, but hopefully you found some value in it. Um, so just, I guess, expect to see me pop on occasionally to do some... Um, to do some work in these, in these purple journals. Hey, that could be a pocket. Let's pull that flap out. Anyway, I need to uh, make a cup of, oh my God, I forgot to cover my glue up. Um, need to make a cup of tea and do something about this voice of mine. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. And please uh, go to my community tab and vote for your favorite uh, name for my moose. Hey, I can use that. That doesn't cover. No, it doesn't. Unless I do a little. See how, how this goes? I can't, I can't stop working and I can't let you go. Crazy. That's just to give me an idea of space. I don't know, does that look kind of ridiculous? A little flower sticker on a flower <laughs> thing? I don't know. Anyway, I think I go I need to go put on a sweater, turn up the thermostat, and have some tea. How's that for a plan? I hope that you guys are well, and I hope to see you in the next video. See you.